So you yeah. have you have a, a, I, we were talking earlier about um, public speaking stories and you've got mm. loads. <laughs> you speak and act. If you speak, if you act and you, you've turned up at, at auditions and you've had to have a great voice, um, sometimes it can go really pear shaped. Absolutely. So which one have you chosen? Uh, well, today I thought I'd share the frog story. I love the frog story because it was one of my early stories when I was a kid. Because I, you know, I didn't decide to be an actor and a singer and all that sort of voiceover actor. It kind of picked me. Um, so when I was a kid, I got the worst snitch. You know, what you said happened to me as well in my childhood. But the frog story was my first time getting up in front of a whole panel of parents and adjudicators and other companies. So it was your worst case scenario, you know, your worst nightmare, the toughest audience, your critics. So there I go, I go out for the first time and I start with this song. It was from Yentl and it had this long scale. So it was like, go. It didn't sound like that. It sounded like a toad croaking because I didn't warm up. And it was hilarious because I could see through the whole line, the whole audience started to shrink in, but they were trying to be nice and smile at the same time. And the adjudicator was like, oh gosh, am I gonna have to hear two minutes of this? And I could read it all really quickly. It's amazing how fast you learn that. Um, and I would, you know yeah, what? That is brilliant, Debbie, because actually what we're going to do now, we're gonna, you're going to play us out on, we're all going to do this before we go, because I know we're finishing at eight, although I'm going to hang around as if it's a virtual water cooler, but it's the, it's the after hours bit. <laughs> it's not the official bit. Before we finish officially, I think we, we, we want a few really good tips here because we're talking about the audio book. We're talking about the, the next normal, which is us being on screen more, using our voices more, getting our voices heard, being mm -hmm. confident. So let's do a, a bit of a top tip, which is Debbie's suggested vocal warm up. So give us, give us your biggest tip because that frog story is so funny because th when you're nervous, the first thing to go is your voice. Absolutely. And you can imagine, and yeah. if you don't, and in meetings, this is, this is really important in life, but in a meeting, if you haven't warmed up your voice, the first time that you speak in a meeting, and particularly if you're in a boardroom and you're really a bit nervous and you've got no saliva, because that's the first thing that goes, you know, if you haven't warmed up your voice goes, I think, I, I think that the, I think this multi-million dollar deal, you know, it's like, oh, it's so bad. So a really easy tip. How do you warm up, Debbie? What's the what's the biggest tip? If you have a I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna do one tip now. Yeah, water. Um, one thing you can do is it's a little cheat if you have that dry mouth right before you're gonna speak. Yeah. You can chew on your tongue and it tends to create saliva because it's like eating. If you do what? Chew on your tongue. Chew. Okay, everyone, let's try it. Chew on your tongue. Don't make it bleed though. <laughs> so that's a that's a quiet way Ooh. to get get the you get the, the moisture moving and mm. you're active in your mouth I so another that. thing this one's noisy so you have to be in a place that you're kind of quiet but it's a lot of fun now if you can't do it you just put your fingers on the side of your mouth but if you're like me you've had years of doing this you go mm. yes perfect you do it no, like a horse yeah like a horse so the other thing you then you do a siren with it you go <laughs> Okay, come on, let's un. Come on, this is the end of the show, guys. You might as well unmute. Come on, let's unmute. If you, if you, if you think you're hard enough, <laughs> come on, I'm doing it. Unmute yourself. Let's all do it together. I right? all try it. I can see people are like, okay, I have to go and pick up my children right now, this second. <laughs> well, I'm not doing the horse.